Now that Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is in theaters and the DC Extended Universe officially launched, many rumors and official reports have come out of Warner Brothers stating that the launch didn't go exactly as planned. Zack Snyder's superhero epic was critically panned and didn't fare too well with the box office either. Fans of DC are now asking what it means for DC's next entry from the extended universe, Suicide Squad. Recently, a report from Birth Movies Death stated that Suicide Squad was headed back to set for some reshoots that would add levity to the movie as a direct answer to Batman v Superman's dour tone. But in an interview with Captain Boomerang himself, Jai Courtney, that's apparently not the case. Speaking with Entertainment Tonight about the rumored reshoots and lack of humor in the movie, Courtney said, I think there's plenty of humor in it. I wouldn't say we're going back to make it funnier there's some additional action stuff that we've been doing which is pretty dope really we're just kind of adding it in that sense christian what are your thoughts on all of these reports of the reshoots adding humor and jai courtney's response i'm getting sick of the reports i'm getting sick of hearing about the reshoots reshoots happen all the time and we know my opinion on jai courtney but <laughs> i will tell you this and i said it last night on schmoes and i'll say it again i think that he was the best thing about that trailer i'm rooting for him in this film and I love his comments. I, I believe the fact they're going back to shoot action scene. From what you've seen just so far, it's going to have a warped sense of humor in general. I don't believe, I just don't believe that they're going to go, we're so nervous, we have to add everything now. In, in, in the movie, Batman v Superman still made a lot of money. Did it make them the money that they wanted to? Probably not, but is that going to change a total shift in tone? No, because it's David Ayer directing it. It's not, it's not Snyder. So if Snyder was doing Suicide Squad again, and then maybe they were like, listen, we should do something else because your tone, maybe the fans aren't responding to it as much, but you let David Ayer do his thing, man. Like, uh, And so uh, for me, I don't believe any of the reports that they're going back to change the tone in the movie. I think that they went back. I believe Jai Courtney, and I think that they're exactly doing that, and that's adding some action scenes that, you know, maybe there was a lot of, of uh, emotion into it, and they were like, let's just add a little more flair because it is a summer movie. It's an August film, so I believe that it's action, action scenes. So they're not going to put that dance number in you and I pitched that that Suicide Squad dance number? Well, damn right they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe him as well. I, I think it's a, a situation where, where they already had the reshoot scheduled and then there, you know, a lot of speculation is about how they want to, you know, change the tone of it. But I, I don't think that's the case. Judging from the, because I think one of the rumors was that all the humor from the movie was seen in the trailer. And I just don't believe that. Like, right. thinking about the type of characters that are in there with Joker and Harley Quinn and I, I just don't see how that's it. You know, I right. think it's going to be a different type of humor, though. It's not going to be the same kind of humor that maybe we're used to from like a a, a Marvel movie where it's more lighthearted all and, and, jo and joking. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I think it's going to be more of a dark, twisted yeah. one, kind of like with Harley Quinn in the trailer. You know, like oh, the, the voices in her head and stuff like that. So I, I, I'm excited. I, I I think Suicide Squad is going to be great. I, I I love that Bohemian Rhapsody trailer. What do you think, Josh? Yeah, I mean, listen, it, you can look at shows like The Sopranos, who were it was super dark, but in at its base, it was a comedy, right? And this dark style of comedy, murder, crime, all this kind of stuff, it shows in the trailer. I will say, I've got a couple of buddies that are really close to the project, one buddy who's actually in it, and he said that a lot of the action scenes took way longer, so they're coming back after they had to get rid of that and getting some of that money back to shoot those action scenes, which gets me excited because you know those action scenes are gonna be pretty dope. Um, Nice. See what yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I will say though, with with Suicide Squad, this is. I mean, look, the Batman v Superman trailer was hysterical. All the jokes we got from that trailer were all in the. You know, you guys didn't. <laughs> nope, not feeling it today, not, Christian. Not today. Those two bagels ruined you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the, the action sequence that Air directed in Fury Fury with uh, the tanks that was awesome. Yeah. I, I hopefully he can do something like that again yeah. in, in a Suicide Squad, because especially because we know we have that Batman sequence with the Joker on his purple Lamborghini. That looks awesome. Yeah. That purple whole scene. And, and by the way, like the Joker himself is a pretty creepy, funny character. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like there's I mean, look at the stuff that Heath Ledger did as the Joker. Menacing stuff. But there's some big laughs, the pen. Like, all, I mean, there's a lot of but things. But it's like a darker, darker like, tone. Yeah. You have yeah. to be. It's the Joker. He's he's, he's a psychopath. But yeah. there's some funny stuff in it. Now, you, it's almost like you feel bad. Or should I be laughing at this? But yeah. yeah, I'm going to laugh at it. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I think. Thanks. <laughs> hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.